In today's episode on the It's Joel channel, Ben tells a hilarious joke. You've certainly lost some weight, because I'd imagine all those boxes Oh, weight. thank you. You're looking good as well. I stroke some headlining in the back of a jag. And finally, we decide it's time now to flee the country. <laughs> this should not be legal. Well, I don't it's think it not. is. No. <laughs> Oh, oh let's evacuate the country <laughs> immediately. These days with several cars of my own, I'm kept pretty busy making content and videos around them. And so it's quite rare that I ever feature somebody else's car. And so yes, it's true. I have not bought this Jag. I'm not about to tell you I've bought the cheapest Jag in the country. However, I am always looking for a good excuse to catch up with my good friend, Ben Rain. And today he's presented me with a very good one. It is this and the fact that he scraped piped his 2001 Jaguar XJ V8. So this is Ben's 2001 Jaguar XJ8. It's a 3.2 V8, uh, an old V8, so it has only around 240 horsepower. But on the face of it, and I have to say, it looks in very good condition. On the face of it, this is a luxurious, quiet wafter, a quiet barge similar to what my, well, what my 7 Series was before I did something very similar to Ben. However, if we come around the back, and look, as we do go past the inside, it does look very nice in there. I'll show you a little bit more as we go. But you'll notice something pretty obvious is missing from those cutouts in the bumper, and that is exhaust pipes. And as Ben will explain a little bit more in a moment, that's because he uh, sort of did a little bit of a bodge job yesterday and just cut the ex entire exhaust off. And so it sounds absolutely ridiculous or so I'm about to hear. So in a sense, he has completely ruined this car, but from a YouTube perspective and from a Joel perspective, I find this absolutely hilarious. So we're gonna get the car started and hear it for the first time, and then we'll take it out for a little spin and just see how loud this straight piped XJ8 is. Right, so jumping into Ben's Jag for the first time and actually, I, think, I don't think I've really ever been in a Jaguar before. I've always, always fancied one of these, which is, well, one of the reasons between you and me that I really convinced Ben to go and get one because I knew I'd be able to see it. And it is like superbly nice in here. He's not paid, I think he paid just over 2000 for this. So it's certainly not the cheapest that you can get. And for that reason, it's in super nice condition. The steering wheel, for example, is, well, beautiful with this wood. I mean, it's like it's brand new. And the interior contrasts so nicely in terms of colour with the exterior paintwork, which I'm not sure if it's British Racing Green, but it's got such a nice hue to it. It's really hard to see in person, uh, or on camera, should I say, because I didn't quite expect it to be so nice. Also, nice surprise, the key for the car is super cool. Matches the exterior colour almost. I don't know if that's deliberate or just they all came this colour, but it's a really nice key. I don't know if you can see that. It's so intricate and different to anything else but anyway we're going to start the car up now if i can find where the key goes is it just a normal yes it is let's get the ignition on system check and so i've just popped the windows down ever so slightly and unfortunately the car's not completely cold because ben has used the car this morning but i'm sure it will still be loud bearing in mind that the exhaust has been cut off basically right here so all the exit gases are coming out right beneath me so I think it's going to feel pretty meaty. Anyway, enough talking. Let's hear it, shall we? Oh my goodness. It sounds like a Mustang. It sounds like a straight pipe Mustang with that, you know, that noise that's like wob, 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 wob. I'll give it a few little revs. I won't be too antisocial, but. Oh my, oh my goodness. That is mental. <laughs> what has he done? I mean, I can't blame him. I've done the same thing to my 7 Series, but I have to say, I think this is louder. Maybe not on startup, although it wasn't cold, but just the resonance from this exhaust right now it's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Well, I suppose we should grab Ben and go and take this out on the road so that we can take it all the way 
through the RPMs because I think it's going to sound absolutely monstrous. Well, everyone, please welcome Benjamin Rane back to the channel. Um, if you haven't realised already, this is the same ugly bloke that came with me to Germany a few weeks ago in Brilliant. the 7 Series. Brilliant. Yep. And uh, we always have some fun, <laughs> don't we? So we, I had yeah. to come and see this because I feel like I'm slightly responsible for convincing you to do this. Yeah. One, one of the many reasons. It was because of Germany, I bought a barge. So I'm entirely responsible. You are entirely I'm responsible. I'm entirely responsible. So of course I had to come and do a little feature on the channel. Now we're in it. What do you think to my wood? I'm not going to answer that question, but why I'm going to say is it's lovely in here. It is and lovely. And I love the wood. Thank you. Um, in the car. I was going to say, let's talk about the car a little bit before we start it, because it's loud. It's very loud. It's very loud. I just started it, as you guys heard, and it's, 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 it's loud, especially because the exhaust is chopped off there. It's here, isn't it? I've yeah. ruined it. So when I was revving it, I can feel yeah. like... I mean, one thing I'll say is the throttle response is instantaneous. Oh, yeah, it's a lot better. And but it does feel a bit quicker. Like before, you'd thrash it and it would waft you kind of gently mm. along the road. Now, you do get a little bit of a more of a push into the seat. Okay. I guess you might have gained a little bit of BHP. You've certainly lost some weight because I'd imagine all those boxes Oh, weigh. thank you. You're looking good as well. But in terms of creature comforts in here, this isn't. it looks massive, this car, because the 7 Series is actually parked just off camera there. It looks almost as long as that, but there's certainly nowhere near the room in the back, is there? Because it's not a long no. wheelbase. Um, the boot is huge. The boot is massive. What makes the back feel smaller, because I actually sat in it yesterday for the first time, is my saggy headliner. Um, it, it makes you feel a bit more cramped, but this is quite a common thing on XJs, apparently. Yeah. But there's a lot of travel on that. They all do this. In fact, the first XJ I went to look at, apart from it being a nail, he had um, fixed this with a staple gun. So when you looked in the ceiling, <laughs> it was staple, 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 all the way across. It was... Why would you do that? Because it was clapped, mate. Yeah, that's not really how you fix this sort of thing, is it? Not really, no. So do you have, like, are there any... There's obviously, there's no TV. You've got a really nice analogue clock there. I love that That clock. looks lovely. Mm. And all the genuinely joking aside, all the wood trimmings in here, that wheel. Oh, it's... In it's beautiful. beautiful condition. It feels really well made. Yeah. Which I was I'm surprised about for a jag of this era. I thought they mm. were notoriously bad. Maybe they are. I think this was when Ford started to take them over as well, judging by the key fob. Right. It's a bit Ford. But the key itself is lovely. I just showed everyone that. Yeah, I really lovely. like that. And you've got no electric wheel, you've got electric no. seats. Electric seats. These are electric. Cruise control. Cruise control, some kind of phone. I think you put your SIM card in the dash somewhere. Phone. Valet mode. Mm. But if you're a valet, like driver, you just get in and just turn it off mm. and rag it. Yeah, that's a good point. That's what's the point? In I that? don't know. Maybe there's a valet key that would have come with the car originally. Oh, maybe. That's what new ones have. And these seats are superbly comfortable. They really are. I do. I get to my destination so relaxed. Yeah, it's and really quite tired actually. These seats are even spongier than the ones in the seven. Mm. They're like super nice, and the headrest is so soft. Mm. I was saying that I would love one of these Jags on the channel, and that's one of the reasons I convinced you. Because you wanted one. But now that you've found this such a nice example, if you ever want to move it on, make sure you ask me first, because I may want it. Because mm -hmm. it just it just seems I'll so nice. You know. Do you have cup holders? It doesn't, actually. I believe they are supposed to come out of here. Oh. But this one doesn't have any cup holders, which is quite disappointing, really. Yeah, you you can also get them with... Heated seats and electric kind of adjustable steering, but this doesn't have it, so I don't really know what's very executive about it. Are the windows double glazed? No, they're quite thick. Hmm. Mate, I'm actually I'm I, I like it a lot. I know that my dad would love this car. Well, shall we? Because I've only given it a few blips. Let's go you, you go and take me out, and um, oh, that is. I mean, <laughs> that is ridiculous, and that's coming from me. It's bad, isn't it? I think it's if it if it went out the back, I mean, it would still be horrifically loud. But <laughs> it's because it's here. It's there. <laughs> and just open the windows a sec. And I didn't do the neatest job putting it. Makes no difference. Yeah, although that is deadening it a fair bit. It's yeah. noisy. Oh well, let's get this on the oh, road. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You're and right. we'll let you guys hear it from the outside too, because I can imagine it's a little bit on the obnoxious side, right? A little bit. Just, just a little bit. Oh, Ben, 
what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> and this is cruising, that was 40 miles an hour. The gearbox is very smooth. It's lovely and smooth. That's one thing about the 7 Series, I guess I'm going to keep bringing the 7 Series up because it's the nearest comparison of the cars that I have with this, I suppose. They're relatively similar, but it's very jolty and not so smooth, the gearbox on the 7. You can't even feel this. Is this, is this a little tunnel This here? is... No, this is not the one I meant. There's no need for that, is there? There's no, no. But it's funny. That is very loud. That is very loud. And I'm really trying to feather the throttle so we can have a civilised conversation. So this is you trying to drive it? I'm really trying. But if I go downhill and take my foot completely off the throttle... Oh, it's like good as This new. is probably what it sounded like before. But if I put any kind of throttle input... <laughs> I think I pushed it that much. <laughs> Some V8s don't sound great when you, you know, do this, stuff to the exhaust, but this is such a great engine. And what I love about it is it's just so wrong yes. for a car like this. This makes me want to get one of the 4.2 supercharged Range Rover V8s. Because mm. this Jag engine, this is a 3.2 NA one, obviously, but it seems so smooth and does have a lovely tone to it. Is this a five-speed gearbox? I think so, yeah. And you've got the manual selection here, that's nice. Yeah, that's quite cool. So you can just roll around in second everywhere now if you want to. <laughs> It just holds it as 7k until it decides it can be bothered to change gear. <laughs> that sounds absolutely fantastic. I've not got a bad word to say about it. I think I've done quite well. I think you've done fantastic. I mean, what, you paid 2200 quid for this? Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't broken down yet. Yeah, I mean you've had it a few weeks, so let's just see. But yeah, I mean, but for, I mean, come on, I mean, for two grand, what a car! And it and it is mint in here. It's very comfortable. I, I mean, I reckon this is as comfortable as a brand new BMW 3 Series. Mm. Obviously, you're not going to return the same sort of figures on fuel, no. and you don't have all the modern tech. But for something to just go up and down the motorway, and I cannot think of anything. Well, I can think of one of these without the straight pipe. Yeah. When there's, I, there's not even a pipe. Well, know. it was standard. It was very lovely to just long like distance that. trip. But how do you, do you do you enjoy the barge life? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I see why you love it. Yeah, for two grand, mate. I fell in love with your car in Germany, and now I'm just like, look, look how comfortable I am. I tell you what it is with these barges, these big barges, right? If you look at BMW, you look at Audi, Jag, the top of the range cars are always the the Seven Series, yep. the A8. The XJ, yeah. the big, the bigger ones are always the top of the range, which means they have all of the, the spec and the tech, but they also, because they're so expensive new, depreciate the most. Yeah. So that means you can pick up something like this for two grand. I think this was about 60 odd K when yeah, it was Yeah, it would new. have been. Yeah. But it has you know, like sort of as many options as you'd find on a new three series. Yeah. Not quite, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. That's what's so great about these barges. And they're always set up so soft and they're so comfortable. Now we are approaching okay. a rather large tunnel. Okay, let's see. There is a mini behind us as well. Oh. The mini might blow off the road. <laughs> Should we go from a standstill? Yeah, go on. Right. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh my god, run! Run away! <laughs> That is absolutely absurd. 
Now I've just got to run away, I can't go back. <laughs> this should not be legal. Well, I don't it's think it not. is. No. <laughs> oh, oh let's evacuate the country. <laughs> Immediately. Oh. Wow. Right, Ben, well, I have to say, I very much, the straight bike first, yeah, hilarious. Okay. Good not, fun. Not obviously what this car is made for. <laughs> I'm not one to talk with the 7 Series, but just driving it then and actually just being a passenger in it, I'm pleasantly surprised at how, well, firstly, refined it feels. I guess you'd sort of expect that, but just driving it, the, the steering, like the steering it's feel, yeah. it's very light. The throttle response is, is better than the 7. It's probably a smoother gearbox even than, than the 7. All right, not 6-speed. And it hasn't got the same performance or top speed or anything like that. But, you know, I mainly was just using the 7 for wafting around town, around mm. London, where it's 20 miles an hour speed bumps. I feel this would be better for the job, you know. This is lovely, yeah. It's, it's so good to drive and the steering wheel feel everything. It's just lovely. It's just a lovely car. I'm very impressed and uh, genuinely, I'm not joking, I would potentially want to buy that off you when you're done with it. Take it. Lastly, quickly then, because I realise it's just started raining, let us into a bit of a secret. What are your plans with this car? Are you going to keep the straight pipe? Well, I say straight pipe, so are you going to leave um, the exhaust off? Are you yeah, going to keep the car I'm, for a bit? I'm debating kind of maybe getting an exhaust fabricated just so it's a little bit kind of toned down and not as deafening. Um, or if not, because I seem to change my mind every five minutes, yeah, I do, could yeah. sell it tomorrow. So you never know. I could just try and throw on the old exhaust. Although I did make a hell of a job cutting it into <laughs> several pieces. So that yeah. may be... So well, yeah, I don't know. It depends. I'd love really. to see you keep this but for a bit and I might do keep some... it for a while. Even yeah. if I get another R8, I may keep this as well. Just... As a runaround, yeah, with the with the the R8 yeah. can be the loud car, and then you can put the exhaust back on this yeah, and have it and as turn the, it back into a as the workhorse. Absolutely, because it is a good old, good old girl. I do well, like it. So we can expect to see some videos on your channel then. So do go over and um, subscribe to to Ben's channel. I'll leave a link down below. Um, because yeah, there'll be some more stuff with the Jag, which I'll definitely be watching because I want to keep an eye on this very thing. <laughs> I'm going to be on Auto Trader when I get home, Ben. Oh, thanks yeah. to you. Yeah, it's like you're welcome. opposite. It's it's like yeah, you, roll reversal now. This is this your is, fault. And I've shot I'm myself in the foot, haven't you I? Have, yeah. I convinced you to do this, yeah. and now in turn I want. You've one. spent my money, and now I'm going to spend yours. Anyway, comment below, guys, what you think about this car. Firstly, should I buy one of these? Would it make a suitable replacement for the Seven Series? And do you think Ben is a dickhead for straight piping <laughs> it, or not? Is he a genius or dickhead? Bit of both. Comment below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Ben, for meeting up with me at very last minute notice today on a Sunday of all days know, to do welcome. this filming. So thank you, Ben. And yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you all very, very soon. Pleased with yourself, aren't you? I'm so smug. <laughs> <laughs>